Hi, welcome to the world of predictive numerology. My name is Dr. N. Srinivasan Shastri. So many viewers have requested me to go in a slow phase. Some people are finding it hard to understand my voice or language. Okay, so I will take things very slowly so that it will help people who are interested in them. Okay. So today we are going to take up two things. One, combination of numbers. Combination. For example, we come to one single digit. Whatever we find in the date of birth. Why today I am taking up this subject is or this particular portion of the subject. Because I, in the comments, in one of the comments rather, I found a person saying totally my qualities are different and what you are saying is different. Yes, that will happen. When and how? That I will tell today. Because most of the people go for the single digit date number and try to analyze with the looks, characteristics, qualities. Okay. Sometimes it will not tell you why there is a reason behind it. And that reason I am going to open it to you all today. So that it will help the gentleman who has commented on this particular aspect. Okay. So wherever we take, we take single digit in a date to note the characterization, the nature, the qualities of a person. All these things are done by only the date, bringing the date to a single digit. This is what till now I have been teaching you all, right? Today, we are going to take the combination. How does the combination work? Combination from 1 to 9, from 1 to 9, it is single digit, fine. From, again, 11 to 31 it will be double digits I am talking about the date in a date of birth this is point number 1 why we fail or why we cannot catch up the characteristics of a particular person pertaining to a particular single digit date in that case what should we do this we are going to learn today clear so next Date, month, and year. The single digit of date, single digit of month, single digit of year. All these three together we will get one single digit. One single digit, it is not one, some single digit. That will be called as Phaedic number. Clear? So, we try to see a person's characterization, nature, looks, qualities, all these things through a single digit brought from the date in a date of birth. Now when the combination comes, we have to add a little more homework to it. Because some people, you yourself will find that some single numbers, they 1, 2, 3 or 5 or 8 or 7, these numbers will not have the exact qualities in the person. Don't panic. It is not the fault of the subject or it is not the fault of mine. It is where next you have to look that indicates you to look in a different place. There is also that part of the subject in the same predictive numerology or numerology. I have brought this under predictive numerology because basically we will read only the numbers. But in cases when the combination comes, when the single digit date number does not tally with the person's qualities, characters, nature, looks, at that time we will try to handle it in a different form that is this format. 
How? Sometimes you will find 10. But that person will not be having the 10 looks, 10 qualities, 10 natures. It will be totally different. Why that is going to happen? Yes. Some people are ruled by the Phaedic number. When the Phaedic number, Phaedic number is nothing but total of date, month and year. That is called as the Phaedic number. When that number is more power or when that number is more powerful than the date number or when that number is ruling, the person will not carry these 10 qualities. He will be carrying the Phaedic number qualities. You can try because those who are trying to find fault here on this single digit numbers, they will definitely get an answer in Phaedic number. It is not my creation. From the beginning I am doing this. When the situation comes, I have to give out this. I am giving it today to you all. Okay? So this Phaedic number will give us the information or the qualities or the looks of a person when he, it is not tallying with the single digit number. Clear? Once again, I repeat. When a person, when a person does not tally according to one single digit number, which is found in the date, date of, date of birth, after bringing it to single digit, if the date number is 8, example, and the person does not look like 8, or the person does not have the qualities of 8. Don't say it is the mistake of numerology or it is the mistake of a person who is teaching you. It is because the Phaedic number is ruling over the individual date number. How did you get this Phaedic number? Date, month, year. All this total together brought to a single digit will become the phaedic number. You try according to the phaedic number, the qualities, the nature, the characterization, everything. Definitely it will tell you. You watch that. That is one part of the subject. Okay. I hope you would have understood by now. If anybody's date, date number, date single digit number does not tally with his characteristics, with his looks, with his nature, or you find something indifferent in him or when you say all these things he will say no I am not like that at that time hunt for the Vedic number but I will give you a clue for this see a numerologist or an astrologist right now we are dealing with numerology so we will assume a numerologist he should be well versed with the numbers looks Right? So when he is well versed with the numbers or the looks or qualities of that particular single digit number, as soon as somebody gives a date of birth, for example, somebody gives a date of birth, 14th October 1969, okay? Right? Somebody comes in front, sits in front of you and his date of birth will be 14th October 1969 or something else and the total number will be 5. Here the phatic number also you are going to put it. Have in hand both the numbers. Don't fall for one number. On a precautionary side you have on your hand both the numbers. You need not have a pen and a paper for that. Just oral calculation. You can do and you can master it. When you get these two numbers, before telling him anything, you just see for yourself how is he looking like. Whether he is following the four qualities or whether he is following the five qualities. Five qualities. As soon as you see dimple on the chin, you can say, oh, this fellow is following the five qualities. As soon as you see either dimple on the chin, double chin or white gap between the eyebrows, backward combing. So you can easily say that this is 5. 
these are the qualities, these are the nature of that person. If at all, if at all, he has deep set eyes, thick eyebrows, with less gap, either dents on the face or some sort of a mark on the skin, then you can see that it is four. This gentleman will talk very diplomatically. That you can know as soon as he comes and the way he presents himself. This man, he'll be having his own doubts. In the beginning itself, as soon as he gives you a date of birth, he will have questions, he will have queries. He will not wait for us to answer him. Before we just look at the date of birth also, he will put us a dozen questions. So this is the nature of four. So, if you master the characterizations, the nature, looks, everything in individual numbers, there you don't have combination, combinations will come next. I will teach you that. But right now we are on the we are just following the basis of how to deal with the date of birth because some people had confusions in dealing with the date of birth. The date five, I mean the total number of date, single date, five, and the fading number is four. As soon as he comes, you are going to write it down. Or you just try to calculate or in your mind. And you will know either it is 5 or 4. You will see. You will see the person in front of you. And you will just analyze that much. Suppose if he is not in front of you. Suppose somebody has brought that date of birth. You can ask him whether he is having these a little bit. One or two qualities of 5 or one or two qualities of 4. After he says yes for those two qualities of either 5 or 4. You can continue with 5 or you can, you can continue with 4 and that will go bingo. That will be the right answer for them. Okay. So, if you, if you are talking to some person on phone, he has given you the date of birth. But you don't know where he, he is uh, not in front of you and he is on the call, not on the Skype. So, in those cases, two things will come in handy. The, walking, uh, the talking style. Second thing is the date on which he calls you. My dear friends, please remember this. The date on which he calls you. Or if somebody calls also asking for somebody's date of birth, that person's date of birth, not the person who is calling. The person in question, person in question regarding whom you are going to, he is going to ask. Clear. I will just repeat it once again. I will do it very slowly. I will not take much of your time. This is a very beautiful subject. So I want to put it very slowly and steadily. Right? See, this is the date of birth. If they are in front of you and if you put it on a piece of paper or put it in your mind, you have to do two, you have to do two things simultaneously. You will try to know the single digit of the date and the total single digit of the total fading number of the date. Date, month and year. With these two, with the help of these two, the fading number and the single letter, you will just watch him if he is in front of you and you will see whether he comes and falls under 4 or 5. 4 has different qualities, characteristics, looks. 5 has different characteristics, qualities, looks. So if you fit, if you make him fit into any of these two, you can carry on with that particular number, qualities and he will say yes. This is the beauty of it. If at all he is not in front of you, if he is the main person who is talking about you, who, who wants to know about himself on a call, not on a Skype, you have not seen him, you don't know about the looks, he will call you on one particular date. The date on which he calls you, remember this once again, I will repeat. The date on which he calls you and you have not seen the person, that date of calling is important for you to note and that date you see 
whether they mean suppose 13 okay now 13 16 this is the date a person is calling you on a on a phone or a mobile not on a skype and he wants to know something about himself now this is only the confusion part we are trying to analyze not the prediction how to catch and where you have to start this is what i am trying to narrate it here so 16 when he calls on 16 very simple based on his voice and based on his type of questioning you can know whether he's five or four forget about that if you could not analyze that way is the calling date he in person if he calls seven seven correlates with four it does not correlate with five so you take up this four number qualities and try and talk to him and he will say yes this is the beauty in it clear if somebody else is asking regarding somebody and the person who is asking you is not in front of you he is also on a call and he is asking about a friend of his or her to know the characterizations or about some details giving her date of birth or his date of birth the friend is giving remember that a friend is calling you and giving a date of birth of his or her friend at that time also person in question to whom you are going to give the prediction will be calling date correlation the calling date will fix you or the calling date is the date which correlates that will give you the clue whether it is 4 or 5 hope you have understood this is as easy as that but so many people think that everything is wrong uh, what all you said is uh, different and I am different yes it happens because there is a lot of things to know yet it is not as soon as you know about numbers jump into conclusions start reading some person's uh, characteristics no you have to look a long way through you have to work hard you have to first analyze what I have told you have to just be observing people blindly you learn something and just put, throw it on people and see it is wrong means that is useless I have struggled 38 years for these things at least you struggle for one month you will get a part of it or if you have already struggled and if you have known something of it you can just catch it is just like uh, uh, what do you call that uh, a easier uh, platform where you can jump into higher planes very fast it will carry you ok so this is one phase where when you feel that it is wrong it is not telling where you have to search and how and what will come in handy to you to help you know about the person in front of you or on calls or away from you or somebody brings you a person's state of birth this I hope it is clear now next part combination now what is this combination I told you 1 to 9 single numbers you need not bring it to single numbers but there are other numbers from 11 to 31 the dates this is double number except 11 and 22 that I am going to deal separately because they are never added to 2 and 4 they have got separate qualities till now I have not touched that I will give you and at the end why there are reasons I will disclose it ok so if it is 12 if the day total is 12 see you got two numbers here when you bring it to single digit you will have three very good if it tallies with three if the person's qualities if the person's uh, nature looks and happenings in the person's life according to three if it is tally right 
If it is not tally, the earlier method you are going to check. Even if that does not tally, if this also does not tally, single number, even the fading number does not tally. Fine, very good. Combination means two numbers. Sometimes they are very strong. Why? How? That you will know later. I am not postponing things. I want to put first things first. Because I don't want to get you confused already. I should have finished this earlier. So a lot of confusion should have been stopped. At least often. Though it is little late. Better late than never. I am doing this. Now. This 12 is a combination. So this person who is having this 12. He or she whoever it may be. Qualities of 1 will also be there. Qualities of 2 also will be there. Not the complete qualities. A part of 2, a part of 1 is there. Which part of 2, which part of 1 as soon as you see a person again when you try to correlate it with the individual numbers, qualities. Or whenever you try to, uh, not correlate, whenever you try to analyze it while seeing them. Whether this goes for 1 or 2, you will find only 1 and 2 qualities in them. Not purely 3. These two qualities you can tell them, they will have both the qualities in them. This is how you are going to deal with combinations. For example, one more example. Twenty-six is the date in a date of birth. Now we have got two plus six is eight. If the person does not tally with these looks, these qualities, these characteristics, this nature, you go for fading number. And even there also, it does not tell. Then you hunt for, you just, you just apply. Two qualities and six qualities. You see whether he is having a V-shaped chin. You see about the hairs part of it. And a skinny face. So, a part of two and a part of six you can get, give to that particular person who is having 26. And who is not tagging with eight. And who is not getting along with even fading number. I hope I am clear here. The combination of numbers works in this way. Okay. Instead of blindly coming to one conclusion that what all I said is wrong. I don't stand here in front of you, in front of you all just to do something. I am trying to give you the best. Of course I am a human being. Sometimes mistakes occur. No matter how much my study is. But that mistake is not occurring continuously. Maybe because of some overall oversight, I would have dropped something else and that made you, that got you into confusion, that's all. Of course, that will happen. To any human being, it is common. They say to every human, maybe I would have done that. I am not asking you all excuses. I am just telling you all, this is the nature of a human brain. Even me. Whenever something is said to me, I will first start, start questioning them. I will not accept. That is the nature. That is the attitude of a person. So, I have struggled a lot while coming up to this one particular conclusion. Likewise, people are also struggling. Whenever they fight or whenever they try to argue with me, I will not get wild because they are on the right path. Unless and until you argue, you cannot get the right stuff. I am happy with those comments and I am happy with those arguments. I will be, sometimes, I will be very unhappy also because I give so much to you all and sometimes I have to take comments. All in the game, that is not a problem. Okay? Hope you have understood. I wanted to start marriage compatibility also. That is not going to happen, but still, people are stressing on that. So, I will give you a um, study, I will give you a reading or uh, not reading. I will give you a method where you can escape from a lot of problems for marriage compatibility. That I will give you in my next video. I don't have much time today. I have covered a lot. Because each, each aspect has lots to give us. Okay? If you like my videos, give a thumbs up. 
and if you want to be with my videos or you want to see my videos continuously subscribe okay so till i meet you next time i meet you goodbye